So this video is less about tutorials and less about how to do things and more about a little bit of my idea of where I want the channel to go over the next couple of months. Now, I'm a still a massive WordPress fan and I love what you can do in WordPress. But one thing the last couple of weeks and the videos are released and some of the things I've been involved with has taught me is that WordPress is unfortunately a very big beast. And with that comes very slow innovation. Sure, you've got amazing plugins and tools like Bricks Builder and so on that build on top and they are absolutely amazing. And I will not be stopping covering those. But one thing I do want to take a look at is outside of the WordPress ecosphere. I want to take a look at some of the tools that are innovating in web design. Things like Framer. Framer is an incredibly exciting looking platform and one that I want to explore in a lot more detail. Take a look at the things you can do in it, the features it brings. The purists out there are probably going to say, well, it doesn't create as clean code as some of the other tools like Bricks and so on. And let's be brutally honest about it. Lots of end users don't give a damn about that. Yes, there's absolute reasons why you should have as clean a code as possible, but it shouldn't stop us looking at alternative tools that are out there outside of WordPress itself. Another exciting example is Reloom. Now, Reloom allows you to do various different things, not just building your sites and so on, then convert them over into things like Webflow and so on, but also using AI to wireframe based upon feedback. So even if you don't want to use this to design things, there are reasons why this can be incredibly useful in your workflow for prototyping design ideas, getting website structures put together before you even start to put virtual pen to paper, as it were, lots of different reasons. And again, Reloom is one of those platforms that is pushing innovation and getting really creative in what you can do. Now sticking with one of the OGs, it's got to be Figma. Now Figma, even if you only want to use this to work inside WordPress, there are lots of cool things going on there. If you pair this up with wireframes, for example, Brixies is one that I use. You've got all the wireframing options inside you and you can use this to build out your designs. You can use it to create your design system, so all of your styling, your typography, your color schemes, your color palettes, and then move over into using the wireframe mockups to build out the design. You get the idea. We've covered Figma in the past, but I want to explore these kinds of avenues further. If you don't want to use something like Figma, then you can take a look at the open source pen pot, which you can easily use. You can download this, you can install it on your local machine, don't have to be connected to the internet, and you can do an awful lot with PenPot. But these are just some of the tools that are out there outside of the WordFest sphere. And these are things that, to be honest, are a lot more exciting than what you can do inside WordPress right now. I kind of feel like while there's a good time for WordPress in certain respects, it's also a very difficult transitionary period between things like full site editing, Gutenberg, page builders, builders that sit on top of Gutenberg and so on. There's a lot of which direction do you kind of go in and with that stagnation becomes a lack of innovation, unfortunately. But what do you think? Would you be interested in me taking a look at these different tools, what's outside there? I'm not saying to you that you should move away from WordPress at all. If you're happy with WordPress, like I am, you can carry on using it for whatever projects you want. But I do think part of the responsibility we have as designers is to look at what alternatives are out there. So let me know. Any of these tools absolutely interest in you or are there tools out there that I haven't listed here that you think I should check out and take a look at? Please do drop those comments in the comment section down below so I can take a look at those and see how viable they are to include. But this is all going to be part of not just the channel, but also the new community that I'm actually in the process of releasing over the next couple of months that will be rolling out where we'll have more control over everything. There are going to be unique things inside there. The community itself, there's also going to be live streams, cohorts, and so on. Even if you just want to stick as a free member, you still get access to tons and tons of things, including free courses. If you want to become a pro member and have access to everything inside there, well, you can do that when that rolls out as well. But as always, let me have your comments down below. Let me have your thoughts. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats, and until next time, take care.